And hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bear Bar Tales. I'm the Bear Bard, and today we have another story from r slash RPG Horror Stories. The story today is titled, I Don't Care That You're My Brother, You Died. And here we go. My husband has three brothers, and the youngest claims to be an expert in all things TTRBG. Spoiler alert, he's not. I've killed him accidentally while GMing so often because he makes stupid choices. I'm here to tell you about his three most epically stupid character deaths. Death number one, the rogue. The party was level 10 and learned that an ancient magma dragon had the information they needed to defeat the BBEG. So they approached the dragon very, very respectfully because this is a CR-17 creature and could stomp them hard. The cleric is negotiating with the dragon and making great progress until my brother-in-law gets bored. He looks around and realizes that there is magic treasure in the ancient dragon's cave. He looks right at me and says, I stealth and steal this sword there. Um, you mean the sword with glowing and magic and only 20 feet from the dragon? Okay, I think that's a really, really bad idea, and I would highly recommend not doing it. Okay, awesome roll there. Unfortunately for you, the dragon's bonus to perception is higher than your roll with bonuses. He sees you stealing the sword. What's your AC? Yeah, he hits and kills you. This is a CN creature. You tried stealing from it. What did you expect the reaction to be? Needless to say, he was very unhappy, but he made another character and we moved on. Death number two, the fighter. His next character was a noble but simple fighter. High strength, loads of HP, and dumb like a brick, but listen to the other characters, so we're good. The party is in a dungeon, and they are utterly convinced there's a trap somewhere along the hall. Fair enough, there's lots of corpses, and they look like they died via magic. They are hesitating and trying to come up with a way to trigger the obvious trap without getting caught in it. After all, the party rogue is now Dragon Chow. My wonderful brother-in-law looks at his sheet and declares that he is going to walk down the hall and that the cleric can just heal him after. I warn him that some of the corpses have armor and weapon better than his, and he can infer that they are higher level than him. I caution him to wait since the wizard and cleric are getting close to figuring out the puzzle. Nope, I don't want to wait for a stupid puzzle. I set my shield down and walk down the hall. I stomp on each tile to make sure I trigger the trap while running my hands along the wall. No avoiding him triggering the trap then, by some fudged rolls. Awesome. You trigger all three traps at once, as was designed to happen. Congrats, you're dead. Again, why don't we rewind and let the rest of the party finish the puzzle? Nope. He decides to storm off and come back the next week with his final character. Death 3, the ranger. This was his last character. I got sick of his passive-aggressive comments, his bullying other characters to do what he wanted, and kicked him out of the group. The third and final character was a ranger. It was a simple longbow build and pretty solid. The party is chasing the final villain through the capital, gearing up for the final showdown. They run across a few of his minions that I threw in for laughs. I made gnome barbarians. It was a joke and I assume my players would keep running across the rooftops to chase the villain. There is no way for the gnomes to get onto the rooftops, so it's just played for laughs. The party keeps running, but my brother-in-law stops. He stops without telling the rest of the party. He splits off all by himself and didn't even tell the party where he was going. He climbs down and faces off against the gnome barbarians. He could have shot them from the safety of the roof, but nope, he decided to melee them. The ranger, who specialized in ranged attacks, decided to use his dagger and melee two barbarians. Two barbarians who are, yes, gnomes, but high enough level that it would even be a challenge for the entire party. And he's trying to solo them. Yet again... Let's recon this and rewind. Why don't you tell the party so that they can help you? Or not climb down and try to shoot them? Nope. You decide that this course of action is the best because of reasons? Okay, let's roll combat. Hey look, you died again. He threw a complete tantrum. He threw books on the floor, ripped up his character sheet, and was escorted out of the apartment by my husband. My brother-in-law was 27 at the time, but he got and gets away with everything because he's the baby of the family. He was never disciplined and never worked. He lives with his three children, his wife, and his mother-in-law at his mother's house. He pays no bills, and my husband gets called all the time to come fix the things that he broke in a fit of anger. The absolute great thing is that we are now no contact with the entire family. It's been drama-free, and I'm no longer dreading DMing our game. 
I'm actually having fun DMing online. And scene. <laughs> oh boy, this sounds like a winner we got here. Uh, first off, the rogue. Yeah, let's 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 just uh, you know steal this thing right in front of this ancient giant dragon. That sounds like a great idea. Fighter. Although I'll be honest with the fighter, maybe a little bit on the barbarian side, but that kind of sounds like the perfect you know dumb muscle character. Hey, I'll just walk through the traps. That'll be fine. They're just melted to the bone. <laughs> and then to top it all off, this ranger, he says, yes, I have this nice bow, but let's go stab the gnome barbarians. By the way, gnome barbarian is a perfectly reasonable thing. One of my favorite characters I've ever played was a gnome barbarian, and he was awesome. But real talk, uh, this year at the end, this this as a dad, this really kind of hurts my soul. You know, I really hope that that those kind of anger issues and stuff aren't carrying over to those kids. You know, I hope those kids do have a good uh, father figure to look at. You know, I, I, I'm glad that the uh, the OP was able to get away from that family. You know, if it was that kind of toxic relationship. But, uh, you know, you always hate seeing people like this around kids. You know, it's, it's always one perspective that we're seeing. but the way it's written i tend to to probably go along and believe what's happening here maybe i'm naive but uh you know i hope that those kids can have have a better a better role model to uh to be around but enough of the depressing talk i want to thank you guys for joining me here on this episode of bear bar tales uh, i really hope you enjoyed the story if you have a story you want to submit to me uh for me to read on this channel uh you can either submit it through uh, our, our discord or on uh, reddit uh links are in the bio you can go check those out if you had fun listening to this story and want to hear more, go ahead and drop me a like and follow for more tabletop stories. Really appreciate it. We're trying to help grow this community and this channel. For now, this has been The Bear Bard, and I'll see you guys next time.